Hello everyone, today we will know how to do site-directed mutagenesis in Pymol. Welcome to Basic Science Series, I am your host Dr. Lokinder Kumar and today I will show you how you can change one single amino acid or uh, different amino acids in the protein structure. This is one of the videos that I am making in my Pymol series. I have made a couple of other videos on, on Pymol and I recommend you to watch those videos to learn the basics of Pymol. Today we will go a little bit detail into the detail into the site-directed mutagenesis where I will show you how you can change a specific amino acid in the protein structure. Okay, without uh, any delay, let's start the video and uh, we'll, we'll start by getting the protein data bank file for the specific protein you want to work on. So initially, there will be this question that, okay, why we should mutate a protein? Uh, so that specific choice will be made um, according according to your research project, right? So you need to define a project where where you can you can uh, you know explore the effect of mutation on the function of the protein. So for that, what you can do is uh, you can go to this particular website, which is uh, let me move it over here, which is Protein Data Bank, where you can find a specific protein. Here I'm uh, working with a protein uh, called. Uh, Last R protein of Pseudomonas aeruginosa. This is uh, this is a bacteria responsible for opportunistic infections, and this protein is responsible for uh, quorum sensing signaling system in Pseudomonas aeruginosa, and also responsible for uh, regulation of valence factors. So I want to I want to know what will be the effect of this particular protein um, uh, on the function of this particular protein if I mutate a certain um, set of amino acids, right? So this can this uh, this can be your project with uh, another protein that you are working with. So first what you have to do, I'll, I'll tell you all the steps, although I have covered the protein refinement, uh, the, the preparation of the protein for various uh, various things, but I'll, I'll also try to cover those steps over here so that it's clear. So what you can do is you can download the file from, from this icon, from here, okay, to, uh, to highlight it much uh, in, a, in a much better way. Uh, let me use another application that I, that I use, uh, which is mouse highlight. It's very, very convenient. So I made one video on this one. Also, it's very convenient. Your cursor is visible. So now I can I can direct you to these steps. So we have to download the file from here. So when I click on this triangle, I can I can see various formats are available. I want to download the PDB format. And then it will be downloaded and I can I can visualize that in PyBall. Another step what you can do is you can just uh, you know remember or copy the code, which is for U uh, V V0 in this case. So what you can do is uh, we can just uh, use one command over here and then type fetch fet ch then space type 2 uv0 and enter uh, what will happen in that case is immediately the structure will be directly imported into the into the pymol so you can see this is the ligand binding domain and i'll show you the ligand will be there right i made uh, these videos already how to refine the structure here i think we we need to delete all the other uh, domains because all of them are, are same uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on the right lower panel uh, where I will I will click over here and change this option into chains and then I can select everything that I want to uh, select and delete I'll go to selection tab which is over here go to a and then remove atoms this will remove everything and as you can see uh, one specific structure that is left out it's not the part of the protein it's the ligand molecule sitting in the center and those red dots that you're seeing are the water molecules if you want to remove water molecules what you can do is you can go to this protein structure go to a and remove uh, waters so as you can see in one go you have removed all the water molecules now uh, you also need to uh, remove the extra ligand molecules and then go to again selection a uh, remove atoms so you can see you uh, you have that defined protein structure over here right and 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 then uh, based on your preference uh, according to your hypothesis you can change uh, one one specific amino acid in this case uh, i don't want to work with ligand so I'll, I'll delete the central ligand by selecting it go to selection tab a and then uh, remove atoms so now i can see just the protein uh, protein domain, ligand binding domain of the protein, and then uh, I want to see the sequence. So as you can see over here, I can click on S and sequence will be highlighted. So as you can see, there are different uh, uh, residues as over here, uh, and then you can basically go to residue to select a specific residue, and, and then you can start uh, doing the change. As you can see over here, there are so many, so many amino acids that are, that, that are there, right? You can select based on your preference. You want to change the protein or the amino acid uh, at, at the site where ligand is binding. You can do that. 
First, you have to map out the amino acids that are important for the ligand binding, and then you can change the amino acid and see if uh, if there is any change in the in the binding of the ligand. Right, all those things you can do. Here you can you can clearly see there is this uh, central region where where uh, ligand was bound, and we can we can just randomly select a region or uh, one uh, amino acid to change or to perform the site directed mutagenesis. Those who are not aware of site directed mutagenesis, what we do is we change a specific uh, amino acid at a specific site and then replace it with another amino acid, right? So that choice is uh, is depending upon various factors. It depends on various factors. It it can uh, it can depend upon uh, you know what is the what is the uh, characteristic of the central region, what uh, what kind of change you want to make. It, uh, you want to break the protein apart, you can put uh, another amino acid that will destabilize the protein structure. You want to change this amino acid so that binding with the ligand is uh, affected. So you can change it to another amino acid. I'll just show you all the options. So based on your uh, preference, you can you can select what change you want to make. For that, what you have to do is probably I'm just randomly going to click on, on here and one, I can see one residue got selected. That will also be highlighted over here. Probably say it's the 36 number uh, amino acid lysine. So what I'll do is I'll highlight this uh, in the stick mode for better clarity. So what I what I can do is I'll go to selection tab and I'll, I'll click on uh, S, which is show and I'll show it uh, in, in the in the stick format. So I can I can see this residue, right? the side chain of that uh, residue. Backbone is still over here. Uh, first, let's why don't why don't we you know uh, make this structure a little bit uh, nicer? As you can see, the rendering is not good. So for that, what I what I can do is I can go to setting. I can uh, then go to quality, uh, not not here display, then quality, and then uh, uh, maximum quality. So as you can see over here now now it is more refined. And let's uh, also you know change the color. So you can also change the color based on uh, various factors. But but I'll just change it uh, to something. Uh, which is a shade uh, of blue and I'm selecting slate color. Okay, so this becomes the background. You can also change the transparency uh, for better clarity, right? So I, I can select this residue and then uh, go to the selection tab. You can change the color by element and I'm making this as a, uh, let's let's make it, uh, I guess, uh, red in this case, uh, or uh, probably it's it's, pink I guess right so this is the residue that uh, it's present uh, in the ligand binding pocket correct and then I want to change this uh, residue with uh, another amino acid now what I have to do in that case is I have to go to the option called wizard so here on the top you can see the option wizard and if you click here you can go to the third option which is mutagenesis so you can perform mutagenesis and then click on protein because we are we are changing uh, the uh, the amino acid in the protein right what you have to do next is, as you can see over here, you have mutagenesis uh, tab open. You have no mutation over here, uh, and then some couple of other options are also available. You can use this, and you can see there are, uh, you know, when when you click over here, so immediately it it, uh, you know, when I clicked on this tab and then again clicked on the amino acid, it it replaced it with another amino acid, correct? And I can select that. For example, I want to change this lysine into histidine. So let's do that. What you will see is. So I've done histidine. Now you can see it got replaced with the, with the histidine. The lysine is still there because I have not uh, selected the option apply over here. Uh, when you do that, you can also see these, uh, you know, desks around the structure. They represent uh, if there are any kind of, uh, you know, steric hindrance, clashing of the structure with other amino acids. So you want to select the option which is showing the minimum uh, disk shape structure over here. And we'll also perform another step that can stabilize this uh, deformity. What we can do, as you can see over here, we have six states. If you uh, just keep on, uh, you know, clicking on these arrows, you can see now this one is showing a lot of clashes over here. Look, you can see it, right? Now moving on, uh, moving on, you can see another one. It is comparatively less, but still you can see, correct? And uh, PyMole will, will give you the best option. So that was the first one over, uh, yeah, this one. No, this one is first one, but it's still showing a lot. But initially, the second position was the, the best one according to Pymol. You can also change this into some other amino acid, like uh, you can, you can, uh, I guess, you serine. Serine is also, you know, not showing anything, any any kind of clashes. You have three states. One, one is this. Second one, uh, let's see. This is the third one. Second one is showing, still showing some clashes, and then uh, the first one is also not showing anything. So uh, depending on that, you can you can see what kind of uh, you know amino acid you want to change it. Uh, this depends on the property of the protein, the position of the protein, and uh, the uh, the properties of amino acids that you want to change. Correct. So you can see the change. Uh, you know this is a much better replacement, and and you can you can just explore so many things over here. But a lot of things, as I've already told you, in real life scenario, 
it's going to be slightly more complicated than this, right? But computational chemistry allows us to change these things very, very easily. Although this uh, this is going to take a lot of time if we do uh, all those things with the uh, with actual protein. It's very, very difficult first to purify a protein and then also purify, uh, then first perform the mutagenesis and then uh, purify those mutant proteins and, and a lot of factors are going to be affected if you change the amino acids. All right, so you can see I have done the change with proline and we have a lot of steric hindrance. I'm going to go back to histidine and I'm going to uh, intentionally select something that is going to give us some clashes. Usually you don't do that, right? Because I want to, I want to show you that what kind of, uh, you know, uh, method you apply to make uh, this deformity a little bit uh, better so that you can you can use the protein structure for various purposes right so you can see over here i'm just uh, selecting something that is showing us a lot of steric hindrance you should probably not select that you will select uh, the protein with the minimum uh, structure deformity right okay so if i click on apply what will happen that now you can clearly see it got replaced with the histidine now i can also see h is there instead of l correct so this is the change i've made this is a new protein and and if i go back you can see the change took place. My protein is now mutated. Okay, now you can see the change is complete. The residue got mutated to histidine. Another step that we need to follow, let's move back and uh, see the entire structure. You can see in the center we have, we have changed this one. Okay, the next step that we, we need to do to, uh, to basically stabilize this, this particular protein and uh, see if there is any, any you know, steric hindrance that is there. So what we can do is uh, you have to select the the uh, the mutant residue and then you have to go to a modify and uh, expand and we have to go to you know you can select four four five six eight twelve let's select five angstrong what it's going to do is it's going to select all the all the residues around five angstrong around this uh, changed amino acid if you want to see that what are those residues you can also you know go to show stick uh, you can go to show and you can click on sticks so you can see over here you can also color them based on uh, their color so you can see uh, because our residue also got changed because it's also selected right so you can clearly see that we have selected all the residues that are close to this amino acid and they are uh, in the five bank strong range next what we have to do is uh, we have to uh, perform another step which is uh, we have to go to a we have to uh, click on clean now you can see I hope you have seen that it actually changed its position and and from here it was earlier uh, and you can also uh, reverse the video and see it was there and now it moved to uh, you know slightly on that side because what it did it actually uh, you know removed the the clashes that were happening in that uh, previous structure so it refines your structure which is very very important you don't want to have those kind of uh, clashes they are uh, they are not good when you are when you're doing a lot of other things with the protein so it is a it is a one of the important steps that you follow now you can see we have changed this one now i'll, I'll uh, redo all those things uh, and and hide all the all the uh, you know uh, all the all the sticks in this structure so what i can do is i, I can go to edge hide click here on stick so nothing is visible and then i want to select the residue that i've changed and show this in the stick format and then change the color uh, to the color that I was previously using, which is this. Now you can see it, it got changed and now it is uh, it is in the different orientation now, which is much, much better than the previous one. Okay, so this is your structure. Now your structure is uh, all good. Let's, let's do some other refinements. What you can do is uh, you can click on all, hide everything, and then, uh, you know, de-click on the, that one, show uh, everything with the, with the cartoon, and then color everything with the, with the color you want, right? So if you want to do it with the, with the chain mode, you can you can also select any of the chain you want. Okay, so now this is the refined structure, and what you can do is now you can save this as the as the as the PDB file. You can go to file, go to export molecule, and then uh, go to save. Here you can change this to PDB, not to PDB MMCIF format. You just go to the PDB. If you want other other formats like mold2 uh, or any other format, you can also do that. But usually uh, you will be saving the file in PDB format and put the name as mutant protein. Mutant, I can write down mutant loss R protein. Connect. And then you can you can also type what kind of mutations uh, you have performed, what was the position that is also recommended. For example, we took the 36th position and we changed this one. So I can put the letter first, uh, lysine from L36 to histidine H. Correct. So this is how you can uh, you can uh, save the protein and you can do multiple mutations in, in, in your protein. 
Now, this is very, very useful because if you want to do mutations and then purify protein, it will take a lot of time in the lab because it's very difficult to even uh, perform the mutations and then also purify the protein. It is going to take a lot of time. So you can do your initial screening, initial functional hypothesis using computation tools like uh, you can do mutag uh, mutagenesis studies, you can perform uh, the atomistic sim simulations, you can perform uh, uh, molecular docking, modeling and all and see if there is any effect on the protein function and that that I think that I think will be very very useful for your project right. Okay so that completes the video. I hope the video was helpful for you to understand how you can perform mutagenesis using Primal. There are other tools available also you can you can use them you can perform the mutagenesis uh, with those tools as well and uh, you know complete your projects. So we'll meet in the next video where I'll bring more topics similar to this one and I hope that will increase your knowledge in Primal. All right then, uh, for today, that is all. Thank you so much. We'll meet in the next video.